Yeah, yeah. Having a small break from the skiing. So behind me is the telescope. I, I have checked it. A 30 meters telescope. It doesn't seem so big. But it's because it's so high and so far away. It's basically at 3,000 meters over the sea level. So it's like 10,000 feet for those of you that still use the horrible imperial system. And uh, it observes in the millimeters. So there is a, a, a window on, on the atmosphere in the millimeters and, and that allows us to probe the universe. It's the second largest radio telescope on Earth uh, after the LMT, the Large Millimeter Telescope and it's been used for, for, for decades. So why I'm interested in this? So in the millimeters you can observe objects in the solar system like um, for instance Jupiter but it's really really important because, because dust emits in the millimeter band. And as you know from previous episode, of, or you should know, that dust is really important for the formation of molecular clouds. So you have the gas floating in space, and then um, that is atomic gas, only hydrogen. You need the dust so that the hydrogen atoms stick to the dust. And while they're on the surface of the dust, they can move and stick together and form in a molecule. And by forming a molecule, you reduce the pressure of the of the cloud. And by reducing the pressure, you allow the gravitational collapse. And this right here is amazing. And I'm going to um, stop it here, the recording in Sierra Nevada. But after this, I'm going to go to the office and find some very awesome pictures. And I will explain some of them that have been taken with that. Okay? See you in a second, guys. Bye-bye. Here I'm in the office and having a look at the IRAM webpage. You can see it here. Uh, it's a very nice webpage, and I was looking through uh, the main uh, news, the, the scientific news. So here, for instance, we have um, a news from September, the, uh, and they are studying the bar in Orion. And this bar is the frontier between the process I explained before, in which the atomic hydrogen becomes. Uh, molecular and what they have done here is using the iron the radio telescope in Sierra Nevada and combine it with ALMA which is a very very big multiple disc radio telescope that is in Chile uh, to study this area here and and to see so as you can see ALMA it's, it has more uh, definition it's able to see uh, to define a structure better than I am and in in this case they are able to improve the results by ALMA which is a like, high definition but as I am is observing in another wavelength they, they are able to see the less dense gas. This news about one year ago in September is the black hole in NGC 1277 really obvious I like this title and they are able to observe the area surrounding a massive uh, black hole Obviously, you know, you cannot see the black hole, but you can study how the gas around in the, the black hole is moving. I, I find this other news really interesting. In a previous episode, we, we mentioned that supernovae uh, are the death of massive stars, and it's when the massive star is collapsing against its own gravity and exploding. So Tycho observed this supernova a few centuries ago, and what we observe now is just this expanding ball of gas um, that is surrounding the old supernova so in this case we have uh, the color is the x-ray emission so that means that it's really really hot gas and it's observed by the Chandra Space Telescope uh, and, and you, you can clearly see the bubble expanding here and what is superposed in grey is the CO emission that is the molecular gas that is surrounding the supernovae area and supernovae happen in very young stars that normally embedded in a in a molecular envelope like the one we have That's here. That's it for today it, I think it's super cool to have this big, big telescope, radio telescope in Spain, but not only in Spain, close to um, a skiing resort. That is fantastic. When I came back for Christmas to my hometown, some of my friends were just curious about what was that. They thought it was a meteorological antenna, but I have to explain that no, we are actually 
seeing the cosmos in Sierra Nevada. So if you have the, um, the opportunity and if you like skiing going in winter but also you can if you like hiking you can go in summer and you can see that big antenna watching from the highest peak in the Iberian Peninsula. And this is all for today. I hope you liked the episode and see you next week guys. Bye bye.